Johnny Labowitz uses the canvas and potter's wheel. When I'm at a canvas, I can just feel the bristles move against the canvas, and it just, it feels so good. It's like a dialogue with a divine source. I'm not quite sure where the paintbrush might go. I'm not quite sure how the clay is going to fold, but it, to me, it's a dialogue with a divine source that guides me on what happens next. It's a story that unfolds. And about a year and a half ago, I had a dream. And rather than just show painting and sculptures, the dream guided me to do something that would give people who come into that environment a gift that they can leave with. So I utilized my background in Kabbalah, which is mystical Judaism, and in mysticism in general, and I created four environments, four rooms through which people will walk. The exhibit itself is entitled Be the Miracle, a, a Kabbalistic Journey to the Self. Uh, Kabbalah is not just Jewish, it speaks of universal truths. And moving through this environment, I decided that I wanted to reach out not only to Jewish people, and not only to white people, and not only to American people, but I wanted to reach out to people of all backgrounds, faiths, cultures, nationalities. And so when the first room has to do with the world of action, and when you walk in, you'll see tongues, large tongues on the floor. Each tongue has a different language engraved on it. There are 21 different languages. Uh, and that in itself was a wonderful project because I called someone from Nova Southeastern University to help me in the translations and as a result she got so many other people involved in the project that were excited. They were excited to look up um, that one verse, guard my tongue from speaking evil, my lips from deceit in their, each one in their own language, and then sent them in to me. And it was, I engraved symbols uh, that I didn't, I never was aware of, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Korean, and it, to me, as I was doing it, it felt like I was touching the people of each language source, and saying, you know, we, if we could speak positive, the world would be a better place. The next room is a room where you'll have, it's like small sculptures that are indicative of embraces. And so it's like a village of hugs and that deals with being open and loving to that which is different. You know it's easy to love someone that's, that's like you, but how about someone that is so different from you without judging? So where does this come from in terms of your awareness of differences? Because obviously we can all just begin there. Uh, I think some of us are born with a big D on our foreheads. And it stands for not only divine, but it stands for different. And I felt uh, like many people, probably most people, because we're all individuals. I don't think anyone is a, a carbon copy of another. But I felt very different. I felt that I had a different vision uh, when I was growing up, I, you know, where people may have been um, reciting prose, I was singing songs, uh, where people may have seen, uh, you know, books, I was, it, written language, I was seeing pictures. I'm a woman and I'm a rabbi. So automatically that separated me from very traditional people within Judaism. Uh, I was a, a young girl and I was an artist. And that separated me from uh, people, you know, a certain segment of, of the community in which I grew up. So it's not looking for our commonalities. That's easy. It's really being able to go beyond that and look and, and understand our differences and be able to choose the language, the right words, so that each one of us can speak with a true understanding of the other. I think we need to understand each other in order to reach peace and then we'll stop terrorizing each other because terrorists come from fear.
And when we understand, we stop being afraid. You know, it's important to feel safe with each other and that we're not gonna hurt each other. Yes. In the installation, Be the Miracle, she says she looks at ways we are pulled off balance, scratched and torn, and yet we remain standing. In the fire, either we are consumed or we rise.